I got sick in 2012. It took about a year for them to actually figure out what I had. And I was diagnosed with lupus. I was in a devastating divorce uh, where it almost, you know, I almost lost my mind. Uh, I was in a state of depression where I didn't want to do anything for myself. You know, I couldn't do anything for myself because during that time I was still sick, coming out of my sickness. I couldn't walk. I had to learn how to walk again. When I sit down in a chair, it took me about 45 minutes to get up. My hair came out. You know, my hair was real long. It started coming out by streams. Just, you know, I was just weak. Couldn't do anything for myself and nobody knew how to help me. I never thought it was a place like this. Since I've been here, but 10 months now, I said, this is a place where all your needs can be met. I, I never understood or didn't know that there was a place like that. Here you have the doctors, you have the nurses, you have, you, you, you always can eat. It's just a place where you just every need can be met, whether it's mentally, emotionally, physically, but most of all, spiritually, they have church here. And I was just like, oh my God, you know. It was just, it was amazing to me. The first job that I had uh, signed up for was the car care. I've always wanted to do it, but never just dived into it. And I enjoy it because not only do I get to help people fix their cars, I do the brakes, I do their inspections, we do tire care, whatever kind of care, wash a car, many things that you can do. It's not just geared to just one thing, so I like that. And being able to meet people and greet people. I make pottery, I make the beads, I make the earrings, the bracelets, so, and I really enjoy it, you know, because it's a place where I can go and I, I can find my peace, you know, and, and be making things for, uh, people to enjoy. With the seed neighbors, we can we have an opportunity to introduce ourselves as a seed neighbor. And we're the ones that's gonna take you around to show you where everything is, you know, so you can feel comfortable. You don't have to do it alone. We're here to help. I can I can be a part of that. And that that's that's what it's all about, being a part of something. We want to feel like we're a part of something. And I feel like here at Community First, I feel like I'm a part. Here, I found a beginning. I can begin again. I can feel again. You know, I can live again. And I have life. Community things rings in my mind and in my heart because it is a community. And that's how I look at it. And I'm able to give to others because somebody gave to me.